Hello, and welcome to the New York Jewish Film Festival virtual edition for 2021. The festival is presented by the Jewish Museum and Film at Lincoln Center annually in January. I'm Aviva Weintraub from the Jewish Museum. I'm director of the festival, and it's a great honor and a pleasure to welcome you to this discussion with filmmaker Viester Kairish, who is joining us from Riga, Latvia, to discuss his wonderful film, The Sign Painter, that's in the New York Jewish Film Festival. Welcome, Viester. Good, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yes. So the film, The Sign Painter, is so rich, and I feel like um, it starts out in a, what seems like a very straightforward way. And then as the film progresses, it becomes more and more complex as the character in particular, the main character realizes the implications of what is going on around him. And how, how did you choose to make um, so you have a historical film and a historical character. Uh, how did you choose the profession of the sign painter as a way to look at some issues? Uh, it was uh, uh, a film is made uh, after a novel by Latvian writer Gunnar Janowskis, um, and uh, it was this character of um, uh, of sign painter of really marginal personage who is uh, just he's just doing li like nothing he's just uh, coloring uh, signs uh, repaint uh, 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 some uh, signs and so but uh, I've, I found it's it's really interesting because uh, when you see those uh, uh, changes of totalitarian regimes in small towns. Sometimes you see, you could see only the facade, and facade is like grotesque. It's uh, like every, every new regime, the most important thing to make a new sign, uh, to change a color, or to, and and uh, and in a way, uh, absolutely silly tasks, uh, but it's uh, very far from ideology or, or some real, real issues that they want to have. And, and, uh, and through the eye of this small, uh, we, you, you know, we, we don't have sm small people or small characters, but through really to this uh, really marginal uh, character, you could see uh, the ironic side of the, those regimes, but in the same time you become more and more drawn into the deepest uh, waters of the topic and, uh, and uh, because you, you're thinking, okay, I'm just, I'm just, sign, I'm just coloring uh, streets, I'm just sign, uh, making signs, but I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking about what the sign science means. What means those uh, changes? What it mean a new government? What it means? And uh, sometimes, if you start to think about it, uh, become the things become more and more complicated, more and more complex. And uh, and uh, of course, until today, uh, everybody want to just put his new sign, new color. And it's, it's really still very, very interesting and very, uh, I could say also a little bit danger, uh, danger looking. Uh, and uh, yeah, I like this character because it's also about art in a way, <laughs> because you are, you could uh, call yourself just painter, but you probably could call yourself also artist. And it's also, another perspective uh, of it uh, and uh, uh, yeah it, it was really really nice uh, nice uh, way to show those totalitarian regimes because my previous film was, was uh, chronicles of melanie of of uh, uh, deportation of 1941 of, uh, when soviets uh, deported latvians to siberia and it was very very tragic and somehow i i started to work on 
another next film, and it's again about the uh, Second World War. And I decided, oh, come on, I wouldn't do, I can't do same type of film. I want more life, more humor, inside, more grotesque inside. And then somehow it comes together with this sign painter, uh, naivety. And uh, you, you know, he's, he's uh, just uh, by the look, really naive person probably he feels much deeper and uh, and uh, and and he knows m much more than the rest of the characters and it's a uh, it's really uh, i don't know i can't explain in one word but it's a uh, it's really good good occupation for a character uh, because uh, you you deal with those regimes and you collaborate in a way collaborating with them and uh, somehow the question is uh, are you selling your soul also or are you just uh, you know pretending to it's very complex questions and very modern questions i could say yes i think the character really has the sensitivity of an artist um and at first it's so bewildering to him that his work is taking on these added political dimensions um but he certainly um, begins to understand pretty quickly um, the significance of, of what he's doing, that it's not um, just colors. Um, when, maybe you can tell us a bit about the novel. When was it written and is it very well known? It's, uh, it, it, is a written, it was uh, written by Latvian writer Gunnar Janowskis and he, uh, he, was, uh, he was living in exile because he also left Latvia in 1944 uh, when the Soviet occupation uh, uh, comes back and, uh, and, and he spent his life uh, in, uh, in uh, Great Britain and, and he, and, and you know, as those Latvians in exile, uh, as you know, many of them uh, travel to states and, and uh, stay there, but uh, they somehow uh, can't find themselves. And, and he find himself by writing, but he was writing in Latvian language uh, but it's not you can't publish it in Latvia. It was just for exile. Uh, auditorium was uh, was not so big, I could say. And uh, this novel is not known in Latvia, and uh, and was not popular because it also deal with the topic of uh, Latvian uh, uh, Latvians collaborating with the Nazis uh, during the Holocaust. And as you could imagine, it's not a very popular team uh, in Latvia. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, but it's a very important team. And, 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 uh, and uh, uh, now after, like uh, we could say, we have 30 years of that we, uh, when we uh, got our freedom back and uh, for first reflections was, of course, we are free from, uh, communists uh, free, free from uh, uh, Soviets and, and we are happy about that. But now we start to reflect more deep what the Latvian nation is and what kind of trauma uh, she uh, somehow collect in, 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 in uh, or, or content in, in itself. And, and now uh, for me, it's very important to start, start to discuss uh, also topics what is uh, not uh, quite O, 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 quite open you could discuss in Latvia. We still can't speak about those, uh, those things and especially about uh, collaboration with, uh, with Nazis. But also it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's many legends uh, because uh, Russians, of course, uh, Soviets were using this. They are they all time uh, uh, calling uh, Latvians like Nazis. You are collaborators or Nazis, but there was uh, few of them, uh, of course, and it's, it's always we were in this ideological war uh, and still I think to be free of all those things, we must uh, first of all be honest and, uh, and honestly look in, in ourselves and, and also uh, must tell, uh, ma uh, ma we, are, we must uh, find the courage to, to speak about our dark sides also. 
It's very important. Ha has the film, has your film been shown in Latvia? Yeah, it, it was uh, shown in, uh, even it uh, somehow was uh, lucky uh, because we screened uh, before COVID <laughs> and then there were, because it's very cinematographic and for me it's very important that people could uh, watch uh, it uh, on, on big screens in movie theaters in Latvia. Yeah, we somehow were lucky. It was like one month before, or one and a half before all this COVID thing uh, happened. And uh, yeah, and we we had a really, even it was controversially re received. We had a huge audience, uh, and also we had a very very high uh, reception from uh, film uh, theoreticals and and critics and yeah. And of course, it raises also many discussions in society. Yeah, do you think it started some conversations about these dark things that people prefer not to talk about? You know, we, we know about them and we already, we are discussing uh, about uh, them, but it's uh, some, somewhere on, on the side way, you know, some, somewhere, uh, but uh, it's uh, somehow we are now, we trying to put this uh, conversation on the big screen, you know, in, in mainstream. Uh, on, on mainstream and uh, still uh, it, we, we, we no it's not we are, we are free society in a way we are still we are discussing all those topics and 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 so and there is a lot of uh, books written about it and and it's really a lot of materials and uh, and uh, and uh, you know, it's a it's a question uh, for me as a, as a Latvian. How, how, what I see as a Latvia in the future, what uh, what I fight for, I fight for really a democratic society, and I'm not a uh, very very big fan of some right wing movements that we also have, but not so much as in other other countries. But still, uh, and it, or or responsibility as a citizens or or, or not just uh, people. And that's why it's, uh, I think it's important, but also it's very, very interesting because you could, uh, we, we can't uh, understand the changes that Latvia had uh, because of Second World War. We lost two huge civilization, two hu uh, huge population because all uh, uh, white Germans from Latvia, what was like 60,000, they uh, went away from La Latvia before Second World War after a Hitler call. And also huge Jewish people population also left after the Second World War. After uh, Second World War, Latvia really changed. It's, uh, you, it's complete, become, uh, Latvia become completely different country. And it's uh, so, in a way, so painful to understand uh, those uh, huge changes, and and even we didn't discuss uh, about them all all 50 years after war. Uh, still, uh, Holocaust, in a way, it was like official thing in Soviet time, but in a way, it was hidden thing. They're not discussing uh, those those themes, and 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 it's it's it's, it's always little bit like silent, uh, some, some hidden uh, talks about, uh, about it. Uh, and, uh, and of course, yeah, we, we lost all uh, Jewish people population, but it's, it was so huge. It was uh, so influential. And especially the film is, uh, is uh, shooted in the east, uh, eastern Latvia, Latvia part in Latgalia, called Latgalia. I'm, I'm also Latgalian and I speak this, it is uh, shorted in Latgalian language. It's only second film in the film history in Latgalian language. And, and, and in this east, eastern part of Latvia, with this Catholic part uh, where it's Latgalians, there was uh, the Jewish population was huge because it, it's all, all small towns and cities where Jewish population and around was uh, Latvians, Latgalians. So it's Latgalians, it's, little bit uh, different type of Latvians and also language uh, is a little bit different. And yeah, yeah. It, it is also, the film tells also how Latgalians disappearing, how the language disappeared. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a so many complicated topics uh, in, in the film. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah. 
And did you have trouble finding actors that could speak this special language or dialect? Absolutely. And the main, the main actor, for example, he is, is non-professional. Most of them are non-professionals. I really looking uh, in some, this, uh, because, but it was also a task for me. I, I want to find this naivety, this not uh, not acting, this not the real actor acting, and and uh, may, uh, we, it was the hugest problem. But we could uh, arrange for themselves to to make it in Latgalia, and and and, uh, and yeah, it was complicated to find actors uh, to uh, even to somebody teach uh, to speak uh, Latgalian and so. But main character, he's perfect Latgalian. He speaks really well, and he's from this countryside. He's highly intelligent, and and so. But but also he he is this. Uh, uh, this re real Latgalian, this uh, authentic, very authentic, and also all all those many those small characters uh, 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 what were around are real Latgalians, and I, I spent a really low lovely time to cause them to speak with them. It's, it's just it was uh, yeah, it's it really was film for my soul in a way because to, to speak Latgalian is very important for me. Oh, that's wonderful. And and how did you prepare them for the story? Did you have to give them a lot of background or? I'm working how, how I'm working, I don't know. It's, it's just a journey. We are just collecting together. We, you know, Latgala is very far from Riga. We, you, you, you must spend almost three, four hours in the car. And it, you, are, you are away from this city. And uh, and we spending months and months there, and we just uh, you know it's uh, always how I lo love to work. We just it was it's common journey. Nobody knows how, how it will end, but uh, of course we speak. I'm casting them. I I I, I was spending some few years just. Uh, uh, because my country house is in Latgala, and all summers I I. I I, 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 I went to those small amateur uh, theater performances, but it's always by Latgalians. And you know, in those small uh, areas, you have those uh, amateur collectives, uh, mostly, uh, uh, mostly women are playing roles and they don't have those partners and they uh, taking some fa farmers or mechanizators, some really you know, just to, 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 to build some par partnership. It's a really nice equipage. I spent a wonderful time just to, to casting them and, and yeah, and, and it's a communication it starts already there and uh, I, I'm known in uh, Latvia and Latgal also. I'm uh, fighting for Latgalian uh, uh, language, and, and so I'm, I'm kind of known person. There, it, it means for me many doors are opened there, and and, and, and people trust me. Yeah. And do you think any of the actors would go on to make other films, or? Is it not such an interest it's, for them? It's a very complicated thing uh, because, of course, uh, they love to, especially main Carol, he, he, he won a main prize for best actor in Latvia. What <laughs> 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 is a huge thing for him. Uh, uh, you know, but uh, if it's complicated. Professional way is professional way. It's, uh, it's uh, another way, I could say. And uh, it's... Uh, uh, Somehow it's not also easy to uh, afterwards uh, because you you become uh, dependent of this process and of course to making movies it's so strong thing you are you know it's it's process where everybody fall in love with each other and it's really hard and funny and and, and it's not easy I could say it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you run a very uh, nurturing set and that's definitely not the case in a lot of bigger um, yeah, it is, yeah. movies. So um, you, you did an incredible job of shifting perspectives. How, from different characters, how did you decide um, whose point of view to be showing at particular times? No. I, any, anyway, I all, all, I all, all the film I follow, uh, I'm Ansis, Ansis, main character point of view, and uh, and uh, and also how he slowly discovers and uh, 
uh, and uh, reveal all what's going on. And it's really not easy. And I, I understood those times for for uh, like simple people, for folk. It was not. It was so complicated to understand what is going on, because uh, just everybody want to take them with and uh, and manipulate with them. But uh, but you know, uh, you must really have strong uh, stamina for character uh, to, to, to stay with your own thoughts. And it's, uh, I really understand it's not easy. And I try to always go through the uh, view, point of view of uh, answers. And as you see, all, all, every shot is little bit under angle and it's uh, like a little bit this expressionism of the war time that you, that the, the world is so deformed around you all time and you see the world it's it's it's, it's more and more deformed and you you somehow you see the reality but it's all always a little bit sh it's going shaky and 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 this is a uh, uh, and and only way to survive uh, and to survive as a person uh, to survive in a, in a way in in a, in a, in uh, survive your to survive uh, as a uh, like a not physical person, but as a survive as your soul, or, or you must somehow find some answers in yourself, in your own uh, your own uh, way of uh, of how you see the world. How, how, what is your ethic? What is your, your what is your uh, all your your, no, I don't know, your plot, your, your life plot. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and that was very, very important for me, for me also as, as an ANSYS, uh, as a main character, go through all those events and try to really to survive as a person, uh, uh, not only physically. And, and it is, uh, I think, uh, of course, in those times was really hard to, to survive physically, but much more harder uh, was to, 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 to survive as a personality, as a really, uh, to, to survive, your, to, to, to solve your soul. And, uh, and, and, uh, and it is, uh, it is what was my angle, how to, be, how to, how to still, uh, uh, continue to be a human, how, how, how you could uh, survive as a human person. Of, of, it, is, uh, it is a main question also for me. Oh. I, 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 I don't have answers. I just try to, to see. And I, I, I'm also not, uh, didn't want to show some black and white person there. It's uh, all, everybody who is participating in those events uh, understand he, he, or not, they are somehow humans in a way. They are real characters with their families and, and so on. They're not like some evils. But what if uh, why one, one could uh, grow as an evil and one could survive as, as a human? It's, uh, it's still, it's very, very, very interesting questions also for, for today. Especially I did it because I felt it's very, very important for today. Because also we have today a lot of information, a lot of challenges. Of, uh, I can't, can't uh, want to say about fake news about, uh, and, and really about your career. Because uh, like in Latvia, if you uh, you are you want to have a good job or career, you must somehow be be in, on, on the right track. But it, it, it's on, not only, on, but not on, on, on but always it means to make right decisions uh, sometimes. And, 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 and still I start to feel to really to, to be as you want to be or, or to, to, to be as you are. It's so complicated in new days. And it's uh, for me, it's, uh, yeah, I still very, I, I, I felt very interested about how, how to survive in, uh, in, in, in new day society as, as you, as real, as real you, not you, but you are showing for other people.
Yes, I think that's one of the reasons the film really resonates today um, because of some really difficult political situations. Um, I, I have one last question. I'm curious about uh, the color palette because um, it's a very compelling film visually. And of course, you spend time with different colors because of the different political regimes. And I wondered if you could just talk about um, first, whether those are particular shades of color that really evoke the regimes, um, but also the overall palette of the film, which is very, very um, striking and kind of seductive. Uh. It's a, it's some irony about the colors because I, I really decided to to use uh, because the uh, first color what is green one uh, for a, a local uh, dictatorship it was also official color of party what had, we had, had in Latvia and that time while while I, I was shooting in Latvia and I was totally against it's uh, like a so, so, society of uh, Pe pe peasants and, and, and greens, but it's also an possible society, and but it's a very popular uh, combination in Baltic states. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and of course, this uh, Ullman, this is a Latvian dictator, he was uh, those uh, uh, pe uh, firm, uh, peasants, no, no, peasants, farmer society, it's like, and, and they use this uh, green color. And of course, afterwards, uh, uh, came uh, red uh, communist with uh, this red color, and I was so surprised, and I, I, I understood that when you are mixing uh, green with uh, uh, red, you uh, you could get out the brown, but it's also association of uh, of uh, Nazis, and it was uh, so big surprise for me, and I, I even uh, smashed because it's it just so so good fit so good in the film, but it's a. Uh, it was accident. I really just re uh, some realized during the, the while, while while I was working on the script, and of course uh, 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 this colorful palette. It also shows this Latgalians. This Latgalians. They are the difference between Latvians and Latgalians is uh, like uh, Latvians are always like very very no kind of very strict and very polite person. They are uh, speaking very flu uh, like slowly, fluently. The language is like really like big river. Latgalians, they are speaking like always with jokes and, 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 and uh, the lang Latgalian language is uh, immediately like this like, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's really, and it's a much more colorful uh, folk. Uh, and, and also one uh, big, um, um, like I did, because uh, Latgale is very, uh, uh, very like uh, f uh, three, three uh, it's not far from Vitebsk, but the city in Belarus, uh, it's like 300 kilometers uh, where is uh, Chagall was born. And I, and I imagine it's, a, it's a totally the same town as we wanted, just uh, in, uh, in, instead of Latgale and there are Belarusian, Belarusians around, but uh, still in the town are a Jewish society. And, and uh, somehow we immediately get also this uh, remarkable uh, 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 world of Chagall, but it's also always a little bit, and, uh, and, and I felt this phantasmagory, phantasmagory of uh, Chagall also was a really huge influence for me. Uh, by, uh, when, uh, for me and for uh, all creators that were working with me, that we are we are thinking about, and it's we find it's, it's so close. We are like uh, Vitebsk could it could be the Vitebsk, but uh, the city that we sh uh, shown and and uh, and uh, yeah, and this also full of colors. And I could add again, my previous film uh, was black and white, and now I want to splash the colors, yeah. <laughs> so simply, yeah. But also, I, as a Latgal, and I feel it, I feel it. Uh, it's it's, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, another dynamic. Uh, in Latgalians, it's, it's, uh, they, not, uh, uh, in Latgalians never have those uh, half tones. It's always, ah! It's all around. It's yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, 
Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for your film, The Sign Painter. Thank you very much for inviting film to festival and uh, thank you for conversation.